161 Avenue Boulevard here in the city of Long Branch. As each one of you know, I was here last year uh, about the uh, Housing Authority Board position. And uh, tonight I heard there was someone being appointed. I wanted to come and see uh, who that person was. I'm quite sure she'll do a good job. She seems like she's a very nice lady. I don't know her personally, but I wish you all the success. Uh, I do have some confusion. Uh, I'd like to know uh, what the city has against me uh, personally. Um, I have a very distinguished uh, career here in Long Branch. I'm, I'm a Marine Corps veteran. Mm -hmm. I taxed uh, a homeowner for over 40 years. A Hall of Fame in the city of Long Branch. Started many programs at the Housing Authority, yeah. including all of the uh, NA programs that they have today, yeah. Narcotics Anonymous programs. When I was there, they didn't have any, and I started them. And every, today, in the city of Long Branch, there's one every day, some down there's two. Uh, and I have applied for this position properly when you ask for resumes, and I have an outstanding resume. Uh, I, Mrs. Avoy, I met your neighbor at the uh, Y. Uh, they call me Mr. Long Branch at the Y because I'm always talking about Long Branch. And he started <laughs> in the Long Branch, one of the kind of the mill building, so one of the council people, so he spoke very highly of you. Uh, uh, Mayor, your father, and your uncle, when they sold Christmas trees uptown, <laughs> they only charged me five dollars. Sometimes they would give them to me for free. They sell red. You, you know, you don't have to pay. That's the way I've been they treated in the city of Long Branch all my life. Uh, I was a resident of Seaview Matter Public Housing. I rose to the assistant executive director of the Long Branch Housing Authority. And then when I go to volunteer my time and my talents, I'm told that. Uh, uh, but we we decided, decided to go in another direction and get someone with more uh, experience. I don't know what, and the person's not even as old as I, and she's not even as old as my length of time at the housing authority. So I'd just like to know, is there something personal that the council and the mayor have against me? I would seriously like to know that. Oh, you know, and, and I'm a taxpayer. I've been paying taxes for over 40 years. I've lived in the house I'm in now for 40 years. Prior to that, I lived at 266 Vanderbilt Place. Raised my family here, my kids went to school here. My name is on the wall at the high school as being in the Hall of Fame, captain of the football team. First undefeated, untied football team in the history of Long Branch and had the record when I got out of school <laughs> uh, for the most yards and most offense. That was just me. Never was in any trouble, never been arrested. Amen. So I don't know, is, is there something that you have against me? Can anybody answer that? No, they can't no, answer, answer the personnel thing. Anyone they else? They can't answer personnel. Hmm. Mayor? They can't answer oh, personnel. Answers. But I'm not qualified to be on the board? What the board? Well, then the board? it must be something. It has to be something. <laughs> it has to be. When you serve your country, that's something that's, and I served during the Vietnamese War, that's something that's, uh, you know, people look up to that. Every place I go, thank you for your service. You know, thank you for your service. And I'm very proud of that. I never call myself an ex-Marine. I'm a Marine. <laughs> yeah. And as a Marine, you're taught never to give up. And if you think that you, things are not right, then you question them. When I was in the Marine Corps, I was an outstanding Marine Corps graduate from Paris Island. My first night there, the, the, the drill instructor said, Phillips, I don't want you to do any work. I want you to be my uh, uh, squad leader. So you make, her, make sure everybody else did work. And then I come back, went to college on a football scholarship. Went to college, was the first black player at the University of Tulsa in 1963. Yeah. Only for a day, then my roommate came in the next day. <laughs> but those are the things a little bit about my life. And I can't even be a member of the Long Branch Housing Authority Board that I served, worked there for 25 years. When I retired, I was, uh, Acting Director of the Asbury Park Housing Authority. My last assignment was to relocate all the people from Boston with, and I did it very efficiently. I'm not begging to be on the board. I'm not begging, believe me. If somebody said you're going to be on the board, I don't think I would be on the board anyway at this point, because I, I, I just don't think I would be. But I thank you for your time since I get no answers. Okay, I've come